Elon Musk is getting into the AI game with a new company he's calling X.AI. What's the deal? What's it doing? And can he compete with giants in the space already like OpenAI? Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. Elon Musk once tweeted the cryptic message, in retrospect, it was inevitable. It's hard not to feel similarly about his entrance into the wild, wacky world of AI. Now, to be fair, Elon is not really some new entrant into the AI space. As we'll get into in this, he has been around for a long time. In fact, he was one of the original funders of OpenAI, a point of some contention given how that company has evolved. What happened yesterday, however, is that Elon Musk announced a new company, XAI, which is meant to be his big full push into the space. The details so far are incredibly scant. The website, which is at x.ai, reads the goal of XAI is to understand the true nature of the universe. You can meet the team and ask us questions during a Twitter Spaces chat on Friday, July 14th. Our team is led by Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. We have previously worked at DeepMind, OpenAI, Google Research, Microsoft Research, Tesla, and the University of Toronto. Collectively, we contributed some of the most widely used methods in the field, in particular the atom optimizer, batch normalization, layer normalization, and the discovery of adversarial examples. We further introduced innovative techniques and analyses such as Transformer XL, auto-formalization, the memorizing transformer, batch size scaling, and U-transformer. We have worked on and led the developments of some of the largest breakthroughs in the field, including AlphaStar, AlphaCode, Inception, Minerva, GPT-3.5, and GPT-4. In short, what this webpage says is we're not going to tell you what we're doing, but you damn well better believe that we're going to do it well. Now, before we get into XAI and what people's reaction to it is, let's zoom back just a little bit to talk about Elon's contentious relationship with OpenAI. Elon has been, let's say, pretty outspoken since the launch of ChatGPT launched OpenAI into mainstream recognition. In May, Elon did an interview with CNBC's David Faber, and in it, he had some pretty harsh words for OpenAI. One of his claims was that he was the, quote, reason that OpenAI exists, citing his early investment in the company, which was at that time a nonprofit. He said that he was instrumental in recruiting scientists at the beginning of that company's life. And he even said, quote, I came up with the name. Now, initially, Elon had committed something like a billion dollars to the endeavor, although ultimately he ended up investing more like 50 million. As OpenAI has changed from a nonprofit to a model where there is a capped profit and the for profit entity underneath is owned by the nonprofit, he's been a little bit skeptical. He's repeatedly asserted that Microsoft has control over OpenAI and in general thinks the model is dubious. He's also numerous times suggested that OpenAI does not put enough emphasis on AI safety. Elon did sign that letter from March asking for a six-month pause, even though he said that he knew that one, it would never happen, and two, even if it did, it wouldn't really be effective at accomplishing its goals. Now, the members of the team who launched X.AI were very mum on Twitter as well. They really hammered this idea of exploration. Greg Yang writes, finally launched X.AI. The mathematics of deep learning is profound, beautiful, and unreasonably effective. Developing the theory for everything for large neural networks will be central to taking AI to the next level. Conversely, this AI will enable everyone to understand our mathematical universe in ways unimaginable before. Math for AI and AI for math. The main XAI account also hammered this theme of exploration and finding answers. They tweeted, what are the most fundamental unanswered questions? To that, Elon responded, and what are the most fundamental unknown questions? Once you know the right question to ask, the answer is often the easy part, as my hero Douglas Adams would say. Now, when it came to the discussion, a lot of it focused around the team. The negative side of that, as pointed out by Rachel Metz from Bloomberg, was that all of the team members listed on the website were men, and people wondered if the goal of this organization was to really explore the universe, might they need a team that represented a broader cross-section of the universe? The flip side, however, was how much the team communicated the seriousness of the project. Jim Fan from NVIDIA wrote, It's got an all-star founding team. I'm really impressed by the talent density. Read too many papers from them to count. He goes through a number of the team members and talks about their contributions, such as Igor Babushkin's Alpha Star, which was DeepMind's StarCraft player that beats human champions, Greg Yang's Deep Learning Theory, and many more. Now, one of the big topics of conversation was how this move related to all the other moves that Elon's been making recently. Alex Velaitis pulled it together this way. He wrote, Elon's master plan is becoming clear. Today, Elon announced the formation of a new AI company called XAI. It's an important step towards his endgame of creating X, the everything app. Here are the tools that Elon has at his disposal. 400 million Twitter accounts with years of text to train his AI agents on. 
Starlink Satellite Network, which can bring internet to all corners of the planet. XAI, which boasts a team of the top AI researchers on the planet. If you've been looking at Twitter through the lens of just being a social network, then you're missing the plot. Similar to how Elon took a set of deliberate steps in launching Tesla, we're seeing a similar master plan play out with X. Start viewing things through this wider lens, and his recent actions don't seem crazy. They seem deliberate. We need to think from first principles. What will define the future of the internet? The companies that will have the most control will be the ones who possess the following. The most data, Twitter and Tesla. The most powerful infrastructure, Tesla Global Charging Network plus Factories plus Starlink Network. The best AI talent, XAI and Neuralink. And the most capital, richest man in the world. Elon is assembling all of the pieces. Now he just needs to put them together. Without necessarily going as deep on this whole theory, Jim Fan did say something similar. He wrote, XAI led by Elon Musk is the latest heavyweight player in AI. I see a few unique strengths in Elon's ecosystem. Lots of multimodal data on Twitter. Dialogue text, images, and a growing collection of long videos. XAI is the only AI company that has direct and legal access to such an enormous and daily expanding corpus. Tesla FSD team has years of experience in building huge training clusters such as Dojo not to mention the tons of high-quality Tesla fleet data for machine perception. TeslaBot would be the physical embodiment of the XAI brain if they ever connect the two. Now, when Elon bought Twitter, for what many considered a pretty inflated price, kind of the only theory for why that made sense to many people was that he bought it for that data to train artificial intelligence. As one Quora user wrote, According to sources close to Musk, the billionaire is fascinated by the intricacies of human behavior and is keen to understand how people interact with one another on social media platforms. Musk believes that by analyzing the massive amounts of data generated by Twitter users, AI systems could be trained to predict human behavior more accurately than ever before. And I think this is one thing that's worth noting. When you get the trove of Twitter data, you're not just getting information raw. You're also getting a set of interactions. Twitter is based on conversations and human interfacing. That's a very different type of data set than just a bunch of research papers as a for example. The XAI announcement and the broader theory of how it comes together with the other pieces of the kingdom also help explain potentially why Elon has seemed so aggressive as it relates to other companies training their models on Twitter's data. Remember in April, after Microsoft dropped Twitter from its advertising platform because they refused to pay Twitter API fees, Elon tweeted they trained illegally using Twitter data. Lawsuit time. Now, when it comes to other commentary in the past six months or so about how Elon thinks about the AI space, really two areas that he's brought up frequently time and time again as areas of concern. The first is a fear of something that he referred to as woke AI. Time magazine wrote an article, Elon Musk is bringing the culture wars to AI. The article referenced a tweet from December where Elon said the danger of training AI to be woke, in other words, lie, is deadly. He also did an interview with Tucker Carlson in April, where he said that he was working on something that he called Truth GPT. In that interview, we got a lot of what Elon has said publicly about his thoughts on how AI should be designed. And in some ways, he tried to connect the dots between that anti woke AI, Truth GPT, with his view of AI safety. He said in that interview, I'm going to start something which I call Truth GPT, or a maximum truth seeking AI, that tries to understand the nature of the universe. I think this might be the best path to safety in the sense that an AI that cares about understanding the universe is unlikely to annihilate humans because we are an interesting part of the universe. Elon built on these themes in a Twitter spaces he held yesterday with Congressman Ro Khanna and Congressman Mike Gallagher, in which he said, if I could press pause on AI or advanced superintelligence systems, I would. However, Elon again said that that was unrealistic, and so instead he wanted to try to build a different type of AI. He repeated again the idea that the AI that he wanted to build, or grow as he put it, was one which would be maximally curious and maximally truth-seeking. He said, quote, From an AI safety standpoint, a maximally curious AI, one that is trying to understand the universe, is, I think, going to be pro-humanity, from the standpoint that humanity is much more interesting than not humanity. He then went on to say that he thought that this was a better approach than trying to explicitly program morality into AI. The reason being the morality inversion problem, or as he put it, the Waluigi problem, where if you program morality, once you've even addressed the question of which morality and whose morality, programming one type of morality means you also get the inverse of it. In other words, if you program Luigi, you get Waluigi as well. Now, theoretically, we'll get more information on Friday in that spaces that they advertised about exactly what XAI is doing. However, he definitely made it seem from this conversation, at least, that a big part of the focus was this question of AI safety and why he didn't think the approaches currently happening were likely to work. 
The other interesting part of that discussion with Elon was the two congressmen asking for his take on China's position vis-a-vis -vis AI, given that he has had more communication recently with CCP leadership than basically anyone else in America. Elon said that he thought that China understood the risk that a superintelligent AI would undermine CCP control, and that he believed that they would be interested in being a part of a transnational global regulatory regime as related to AI. Now, the congressman, I must say, expressed some significant skepticism of this. In fact, Congressman Mike Gallagher said, I'm just not sure they aspire to be on Team Humanity. I see them acting as if they're on Team Genocidal Communism, mostly. Now, holding those comments aside, earlier today, China did unveil its latest rules around generative AI, which will include a licensing regime that requires companies that are releasing these models to get a license to do so. As TechCrunch puts it, first and foremost, the rules require generative AI providers to adhere to core socialist values, which prohibit everything from pornography and terrorism to racism and content that threatens China's national security. Anyway, ultimately, until we get more information, it's just a big realm of speculation. We've got all the theories that you heard before. We've got people like Chroma founder Anton saying XAI might be trying to solve math. The one thing that I think people agree on is that this seems like a big effort. Notion co-founder Chris Prucha writes, pretty big deal. This might be a true counterweight to open AI. So at this point, I will ask, what do you guys think? What do you think Elon and XAI's unique contribution to this space will be? Will it be a totally different model of training? A different approach to AI safety? Part of some broader master plan? Or just Elon once again falling into main character syndrome? Use the comments to discuss it. Come join us on the AI Breakdown Discord, which you can get to at bit.ly slash AI Breakdown. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. For now, XAI is here, and we're going to learn a lot more about it in the days and weeks to come. So until next time, guys, peace.